everybody what's going on welcome back to the channel so tonight for dinner i am making a taco soup in the crock pot this is technically a keto recipe um it comes from found it on pinterest it's from hip to keto.com and i've actually tried this recipe out quite a few times and it's really good no i am not keto i don't do that anymore uh, in fact i haven't been keto in a very long time but this recipe is a keeper it is really delicious i'm going to show you how i make it like i said we're doing this in the crock pot i'm going to use some taco seasoning mix it does give you a list of spices that you can uh use to make like a homemade taco seasoning or you can use two tablespoons of pre-made taco seasoning which is what i'm going to be doing uh we're going to use about two cups of beef broth a can of rotel i'm actually cutting this recipe in half because it actually says to do four cups of the beef broth and two cans of the rotel but again i'm cutting it in half i've got some cream cheese softening up here some minced garlic i've got a little less than half of an onion chopped up here i got my ground beef uh i'm getting my skillet ready so we can brown up the ground beef really quick and then we're going to throw everything into the crock pot so let's get started All right, so for this recipe, I start off with a pound of ground beef and I'm just going to cook it up in my skillet over a medium high heat. And I'm gonna add in some of my onion and I'm just going to cook that down just a little bit until the meat is no longer pink. Then you want to drain the grease out of that all right, so then I go in with about two tablespoons of taco seasoning. I probably overdid it a little bit, but it's all right. And then I add in my cream cheese. And then I quickly realize that I added the entire block. If you're cutting this recipe in half, you need to cut all the ingredients in half. And I should have only done half a block and I added the whole darn thing, but it's all right. Um, I put the lid on it just to kind of uh, melt the cream cheese a little bit. So it was just easier to mix throughout the the meat mixture um but yeah it, it was okay i used the entire block but it still turned out just as good it was fine just probably next time i'll just do, have to remember to use half a block okay so once your meat mixture is thoroughly mixed with the cream cheese add it to your crock pot do the can of rotel and two cups of beef broth now i only had one cup of beef broth and i substituted the other cup for chicken broth and guess what couldn't tell the difference give it a good mix and then i just add in some cilantro leaves and some minced garlic i think it was about a tablespoon and a half and yeah give it a good mix and put your lid on now i like having the cilantro leaves just because um cilantro tends to die in my refrigerator very quickly and as much as i prefer fresh cilantro i think it actually tastes better it looks nicer but again mine dies so i like to keep these on hand uh, for those times so ooh, lots of steam Ooh. So here is the taco soup. We got a lovely shadow going on here. Just give it a good stir and then we're going to dish it up with some cheese and some chips and whatever kind of taco topping you want to top it with. All right, y'all. So this is the taco soup. So I just topped it with a little bit of uh, sharp cherry cheese, some light sour cream, some jalapenos, and I just sprinkled a little bit of the uh, cilantro leaves on here and then we're just going to use some uh, tortilla chips and that is for dinner tonight all right y'all so tonight for dinner we are making the one pot lasagna soup recipe i'll link this down below uh you're gonna need uh some oven ready lasagna we're gonna break these up into pieces i got about one and a half teaspoons of granulated sugar need some minced garlic tomato paste it does say to use crushed tomatoes but all i have is diced tomatoes so we'll make that work you're gonna need one whole bay leaf some heavy cream which is optional but we'll probably use it because i got it some balsamic vinaigrette some basil crushed red pepper chicken broth i'm probably gonna i don't have a whole lot left in here i'll probably need to grab another carton so this is a full carton this is maybe a quarter i'll probably have to grab another one of these because you need eight to ten cups of chicken broth for this soup recipe over here i just have my homemade pasta sauce i don't buy prego or ragu or any of that other jarred stuff i make my own so i've already got it pre-made right here in my bowl diced yellow onion and then you're going to need some salt some pepper parsley and oregano and over here 
I got my Dutch oven ready to go. Okay, so the first thing it says to do is to turn your Dutch oven to a medium high heat. So I'm gonna get that prepped. So for this recipe, you wanna start off with a pound of ground beef and you wanna cook this down till it is no longer pink, adding in a small yellow onion. Um, I really wish that I had used two pounds of ground beef. I definitely will make this recipe again and I'll just have to make sure that I use more meat because it definitely could have used it. Um, I did chop up like an entire half of onion, but I chose not to use all of it because I felt like it was too many onions. I wasn't really sure. Um, putting the paper towel in the pot to drain off all the excess fat. Um, I've never actually done that before. I don't know really how I feel about doing that, but I'll tell you for my Dutch oven, it actually does work wonders because those Dutch ovens are actually kind of heavy. So I'll probably do that again, but it was just kind of really weird putting a paper towel in the, in the Dutch oven like that. But anyway, moving on, uh, just adding four teaspoons of minced garlic. Uh, that's about a half a teaspoon of some crushed red pepper. I'm going to mix that in really good. Now you want to add in your marinara sauce. If you use, you know, Prego, Ragu, whatever your favorite jarred pasta sauce is, I mean, you can use that. I just prefer not to. I like to make my own. So uh, I'm adding that in there now, uh, along with the chicken broth. Now, I also kind of wish that maybe I hadn't used, I think, what did I use? Eight, nine. I think I used nine cups of chicken broth. Um, that was actually probably perfect. Maybe a little bit too much. Probably can get away with like eight cups. Um, add in your tomatoes, and that's about two tablespoons of tomato paste, giving it a good stir. Next, you want to add in the two teaspoons of balsamic vinaigrette and your sugar. Adding in a tablespoon of some dried basil, it's about a teaspoon of some salt parsley and oregano and a half a teaspoon of black pepper and we'll just give it a really good stir so you're going to add your one bay leaf stirring that in and then you're going to go ahead and add your lasagna noodles and i found this pretty easy to break it up with your hands um i kind of wish like some of the pieces i think i kind of broke them up kind of big and i think next time i would break them up even smaller because I mean you want to think I mean you're not going to put a, a huge chunk of lasagna noodle in your mouth you want to have it like more bite size so kind of think of bite size when you're breaking up your noodles so now that we've got this boiling we're going to reduce this to a simmer and we're going to simmer it until the lasagna noodles are tender stirring occasionally so it says 20 to 30 minutes I got it down to a simmer. I'll set my timer for 20 minutes. So this is what it looks like after about 20 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and give it a good stir. And then I'm going to add in the half a cup of heavy cream. Now this is optional. You don't have to do it. You can actually just stop right here, but you do want to make sure you remove that bay leaf. You don't want that. So I'm going to go ahead and add that heavy cream, stir it up, and then it's time to dish up. And then once I got it into our bowls, I just topped it off with some mozzarella cheese and some Parmesan cheese. I did cook up some garlic bread to go with this because, I mean, how can you have lasagna without garlic bread? <laughs> but, y'all, I want to thank y'all so much for being here and watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button and share with somebody you love. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.